Once there lived a poor woodcutter, a widower, with his little children, Hansel, his son, and Gretel, his daughter. The little children had no mother to love and care for them. So, the woodcutter remarried, thinking that his new wife would look after his children in his absence. But their stepmom was a heartless and evil woman. She was not very fond of the children. One day, the woodcutter left for work, leaving the children under their stepmom's care. And she thought loudly, It's such a burden to look after these children. Let me abandon them in the forest tomorrow. Meanwhile, Hansel had overheard her evil plans. Looks like our stepmom is not very fond of us. Will she really leave us in the forest? With a plan in mind, Hansel quickly collected some shiny stones lying around the house and went to sleep. Early next morning, the stepmom woke up the children. Your father is away, so let me take you both to the woods to pick some berries. Hearing this, Gretel was excited, but Hansel knew something was fishy. As they walked through the woods, Hansel was clever to drop the shiny stones he had collected one by one behind their path. When they reached the middle of the woods, Wait here for me. I will be back soon. Saying so, the stepmom vanished into the woods, abandoning the poor children. Soon it was dark. Hansel and Gretel were terrified. Don't cry, Gretel. Look, these shiny pebbles will lead us home. Hansel and Gretel led themselves home, following the shiny stones lit by the moonlight. And soon they were home. Children, where were you? We were so worried. And the stepmom pretended. I lost them in the woods. Thank God they are back. But the stepmom was determined to get rid of the children somehow. She took Hansel and Gretel again to the forest by lying to them. Your father is waiting for us in the woods. Hurry, let's go. This time, Hansel had no time to pick any shiny stones. But Gretel had carried a big loaf of bread with her. Like Hansel, Gretel dropped crumbs of bread behind their path through the woods. As they reached deep into the woods, the stepmom abandoned the children, saying, Let me find your father. You both stay here. It was going to be dark soon. Mother has abandoned us again. Let's look for the breadcrumbs I have dropped. Hansel and Gretel tried to find their way back home following the breadcrumbs. But they had run out of luck. The breadcrumbs were eaten away by the birds. Now sad and hungry, they walked together in the woods. After some time, they were surprised to find a beautiful house made of yummy sweets, candies, cakes, and chocolates. Ah, it's a cake house! The hungry children started to feast on the yummy treats. Just then, an old woman peeped out of the door and invited them in. Oh, dear ones, why don't you come in for a hot meal with me? It's cold out here. But what? The old woman was really an evil witch. Soon, she locked poor Hansel in a cage and forced little Gretel to do all the household chores. Early morning, the witch started to boil water in a big cauldron. She muttered to herself loudly, I am so hungry. Soon I will boil and eat these children. <laughs> but Gretel had overheard the witch. Wasting no time, she quickly pushed the witch into the boiling pot and ran to rescue Hansel. Gretel soon freed Hansel from the cage. 
the children quickly collected some gold coins from the witch's house and ran out of the house. Hansel and Gretel wandered in the woods and were just lucky enough to find their father cutting wood nearby. Children, I was so worried. Thank God I found you. Daddy, I was so scared. As they walked home, Hansel and Gretel told their father of all the misdeeds of their stepmom, abandoning them in the woods, and how they had escaped from the evil witch. The cruel stepmom was soon out of their lives. Thereafter, Hansel and Gretel lived very happily with their father as one happy family.